Welcome to the Bolero Alamo Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. Oregon and Oklahoma are separated by about half the country, but make no mistake, they are rivals. If you say the name Brian Pacinger to either of these fan bases, they'll be transported immediately to an onside kick and a touchdown in Eugene in 2006. That's the last time they played. As well as catching it out of the backfield. Travis Dye breaks a tackle down the sideline for the Ducks, and he's just short of midfield at the 48-yard line. For Oregon at some point here across midfield to take a shot. Loads of time in a clean pocket for Brown. This is tipped, and it's intercepted by Oklahoma Justin Broyles. Anthony Brown, though, is going to have an interception on his stat sheet because of the young receiver. It's a tight end, Jeremiah Hall in motion. And Williams looks that direction. He's got the first down and then some for Jeremiah Hall. A gain of nine to move the sticks. Now he'll get there. Third down and six for Oklahoma. Williams with a clean pocket. He can scan and he dumps it off. And a little sidestep from Kennedy Brooks gets him the first down as Bridges undercut it. Things, how do you beat this zone? Looks good so far. Brooks. Loads of space up the alley, and he's got another Oklahoma first down. Inside the red zone. That you will absolutely take. Brooks around the corner. There's the patience from Kennedy Brooks that they rave about for a touchdown. As a running back is the way Nikola Jokic sees passing for the Denver Nuggets. He just, just keep reassuring those youngsters. And use the tailback. Travis Dye. It's a first down for Oregon. I keep reassuring him. Kind of. You know, there he is. He went right back to him. And Franklin does make the catch for a first down for Oregon. They'll go with Dye, and he is a bulldog. That's a first down for the Ducks. You called it. Dye right through the teeth of the defense. Dragging tacklers inside the five. Brown short set. He goes to the outside for Hudson, who does get a bunch of it back. And now for Oregon. Six nothing becomes six three on their honor as we open the second quarter. And Oklahoma with Jeremiah Hall gets it on a third down and one. So the ground game. Free runner came and a beautiful jumping grab. Mario Williams lost his helmet and he's going to score anyway. Now with the helmet coming off, they're going to send him. It's going to be a long discussion here. Personal foul, base mask, defense number 28. By rule, when the runner's helmet comes on, he cannot advance the ball. The penalty will be forward from the end of the run to the first and goal. Matt, I want to ask you, would you change that rule if the runner is not near anybody else? Well, now you get into in whose opinion is anybody close to him. In this case, it's easy. But if there's any doubt anybody could hit him, uh, it's a foul to hit a number runner four, without a helmet or any player without a helmet. Hand. So it, it brings That's in too much too much other stuff that could happen. So our playmakers. Oregon has a chance to be really good next yes, year. Yes, they do. Williams climbing the pocket, sends it out wide and a little too much for Gray. No problem. Burkich to make it nine to three, and this is good. You talk about balance. Oh, you 11 runs, 11 passes. That's balance, my man. Kennedy Brooks finds the seam again. Another big run for Brooks down the sideline inside the 10. Williams wants to fade, stoops in the end zone for a touchdown, Oklahoma. Here. Anthony Brown steps up. That door was closed by Stokes. And he goes down. He looked around the edge. Stokes was there, and then Redmond finished him off. Ball was in the air. Not every ball is going to come down in your hands. Out wide, and 
and now that's stonewalled immediately by Broyles. Nothing there for Hudson. Love watching. To die out of the backfield. Die hesitates to the 41 yard line, and it's going to be fourth down and about seven. First down for Oklahoma. Caleb Williams pulls it and throws it and has another completion. And this will go all the way across the 20 yard line. Farouk on the catch and just driving the legs. Williams steps back through the pocket and has the first down. A dart for a first down to Woods. Kept it in there for a while, and it is Gray slicing through the 45-yard line. Nice run by the Tennessee transfer, Gray. Last time Oregon and Oklahoma played, Adrian Peterson had a huge fourth quarter. Deep ball for Williams, down the middle, right on the money for Mims, and a Sooner touchdown. Has to go get it is exactly what I wanted to see from Troy Franklin, the youngster for Oregon. Adjust to the ball. This is thrown down the middle. You see him leave his original path and go track the football. Brown to the sideline. Got a first down connection to the 40-yard line to Crocker. First order of business is to get on the scoreboard here. Brown flushed out of the pocket, trying to break it down, and he gets by one across the 45-yard line. Pressure again. He has to give more ground, and he does get it away for Franklin at the 35. So this is playable for it down. It's better for Oregon to move the six. Brown kept it and didn't pitch it, and down he goes. Spike down by Stripling. He gets his shots up, finishes the record, and then wins the game. Caleb Williams on the run. Got another nice block on the outside. This time, Kennedy Brooks. It's a play tonight. Because of it, we're getting a good ball game. Look at him shed people. Kennedy Brooks. Do it again. Cutting inside, then back out. Brooks seeking the end zone. He's in. What a night for Kennedy Brooks. Came to play, not burning a red shirt. He's the highest rated recruit in Oregon history, and they've had some great quarterbacks, guys like that. And overall coming out. Glad you asked about, about him, Park. We may see him. Travis Dye breaks a big one into Oklahoma territory, and it's all you can ask for if you're a Duck fan in this opening 30 seconds. Well, Iggy Brown, if he wants it, to Cardwell. Brown throws it over the middle and does have the first down to Crocker just outside the 10. This is Die into the end zone and a touchdown, Oregon. Scorigami people are getting very excited. Hudson looking for the end zone and he is in. It is 30 to 11, Oklahoma. He is maybe even more beloved now in Norman than he was when he left. As Williams on the reverse has some space and breaks it down along the sideline against Verón McKinley, the third, the outstanding safety push with the big guys up front. They've been fantastic for Oklahoma. And they go right behind him as you say that with Gray. And he turns it up down the sideline. Gray inside the 15. It's a gain of 48. Aga College High School nestled in D.C. Played for the great coach there, Randy Trivers. Caleb Williams spins it out wide for an Oklahoma touchdown, and Gray finishes the deal. Then the ball comes in. Anthony Brown down the middle for Crocker, and he's got a first down past the 30. They're working through the offseason, through the season, and then all of a sudden they're not there, and you're relying on young players. This is a beautiful ball for Thornton, and he waltzes in for the touchdown. With that dime that he caught from Anthony Brown. Boy, looking off coverage one way, knowing the entire time he's going back down the left sideline, and he hits Thornton right in stride. Uh, 
Michigan tries to inch back in this game. Caleb Williams throws it down the middle. He's got Farouk into space across midfield. And Oklahoma with a big hit of 30 yards, Cart. Williams, Farouk again. Boy, is he good in space. Farouk breaks across the 25-yard line. Khalil Farouk. First down catch tonight as well. Kennedy Brooks on the swing pass. A little sidestep. That is nifty. Soft shoe from Kennedy Brooks inside the 10. Brooks waiting, buying time around the corner. Kennedy Brooks, a vintage run that time to the pylon. Received another 156 yards for him. Franklin on the wide receiver screen, and that's across the 35 for an Oregon first down. Porter, see if you run the ball, you can see that fatigue starts to set in as Brown climbs the pocket, gets by one tackler, and got a block from Die all the way downfield, still engaged in the play. And the way he plays on, on Saturday, he hits that hole so hard. As this is over the middle for the tight end, Terrence Ferguson. Fourth down for Oregon. Brown wants it all down the sideline. It's there for the touchdown. Chris Hudson with nobody in the zip code. Uh, you see it, you can actually see a guy you know, looking, looking defenders off. My gosh, how did Caleb Williams thread that through to Mario Williams? Traffic, and he said to his wife, where are all these people coming from? And she said, honey, this is what happens on game day, essentially. I mean, you get caught in it as a player and coach, right? Play action. Williams to Jeremiah Hall, the senior, for an Oklahoma first down and a big old hit he put on Bridges. So the play call, get everybody thinking inside run, and then you leak the big tight end out, Jeremiah Hall. Today, Joe Moorhead, known as an offensive wizard. Another run, and Major spikes his hand down as he went down to the arms of Jordan Happel to line up from 29. And it's good. Always in our hearts together doing football. Here is Die again. And man, he is electric when he gets the football. Well, they the Oregon that we we expect to see. Brown going for a shot to Crocker into traffic. And a flag is coming in. Yeah, rightfully so. Anthony Brown, the senior quarterback. On the move, got a block outside from Franklin, and down he goes at the 30 after a run for a first down. Brown wants more. Franklin over the shoulder. Did he, did he drag the foot? Yes, he did. Nice catch. Wow. Um, and he gets the left foot. I think it's the left foot that comes down inbounds, secures the catch. The other one taps down out of bounds. It's awesome. Mans might want the 15. It's second down and 10 instead. Thank you, Matt. Anthony Brown just barely got out of the end zone. Redmond and Stripling bracketed him, and Brown is down now in the end zone. Brown had to dodge early. Stripling was bearing down on him. And now, fourth down from your own welcome, Matt. Right in San Antonio. How about this for Oklahoma? Yeah, no doubt. Great ball game, great story. We're having Coach Stoops coming here and coach this thing, and they perform tonight.